good evening everyone uh, yesterday I could not do uh, any video so maybe I'll try my level best to give you all the current affairs uh, related to Indian economy please don't uh, I could see you know out of 22 students uh, only 10 11 15 people are uh, uh, watching the videos I don't know maybe uh, it is not like a regular class but uh, I advise you to you know go through these videos and gain some knowledge please don't waste time and this, the information which I am providing is it's a kind of revision in nature so that you will quickly understand what exactly is the main concept in the economy syllabus all right now uh, recently like uh, just two three days before uh, you must have seen in the national media about uh, Franklin and Templeton mutual fund winding up six uh, credit funds which were uh, uh, recently liquidated okay so that is the news uh, about that for UPSC you can expect the questions the reason behind it what actually happened uh, why maybe there's there's every possibility they can ask you a question on mutual fund so on and so forth before I start reading this material and explain this please let me show you how exactly mutual fund works this uh, this uh, regular uh, regular this regular mutual fund uh, work nature all right uh, look at this <coughs> so the investor is the person who's willing to invest but of course not in a large sums of money but he wanted to invest in small sums of money all right this investor is ready to invest so therefore there's there's a mutual fund created that mutual fund is actually run by uh, a sponsored company which is normally in the form of a trust and that mutual fund is generally managed by a fund manager so mutual fund collects money from investors and that fund is actually managed by the fund manager the Franklin and Templeton has acted as a fund manager for the money that has been uh, invested by the people small small people small small amounts etc so it's like there is a fund manager this manager mobilizes money from the investors this fund manager which is otherwise in our example we can take it as a franklin and templeton this this uh, company has invested money in stock exchange in different securities you know securities can be different types like there can be bonds there can be debentures there can be equity shares so the fund manager is uh, completely responsible for investing money in the securities in the stock market all right and uh, when fund has fund manager has invested fund manager means here franklin dimpleton has invested money in the securities this securities where he, the fund manager has invested definitely earns money and that money whichever is generated will be treated in the form of returns and this money suppose if fund manager has earned 100 rupees by investing money into various companies of debentures bonds equity shares etc the total 100 rupees he might not uh, return to investors right he will keep some money uh, all the expenses cost of managing etc etc so the net amount that is to be given to investor will be generally called as a net asset value in a very very general basic language so this net asset value may be given in the form of returns to the investors that could be in the form of dividend in the, in the form of pension in the form of regular income in the form of growth etc there are different different funds okay that that is not the discussion here we wanted to actually understand what happened um, in the market recently because of which uh, Franklin Templeton has decided to liquidate or close uh, six credit funds so when I say six credit funds so the fund manager that is Franklin and Templeton has invested uh, money in the stock exchange that too in debt funds in the sense bonds and debentures of companies understood now bonds and debentures of company what happened I'll tell you the overall story if you could see <coughs> overall story if you could see one second please yeah overall story listen to me carefully and use headphones until I finish this next two minutes class of uh, this the story what happened this uh, Franklin and Templeton has invested money in the debt funds debt funds in the sense in the form of bonds in the form of debentures of companies especially Ireland FS Reliance Communications SL group order phone idea etc etc so these are the places where uh, it has invested right if you have seen in the recent past even before covid 19 these companies were not actually performing very well 
So Franklin Templeton issue is not only because of COVID-19. It's earlier only, before COVID-19 only, this uh, Franklin Templeton debt funds were not actually performing very well. Because Ireland FS went into losses. It was not in a position to pay uh, money on time. And Reliance Communication went into losses. It was not in a position to pay money. SL Group all the same thing. Vodafone Idea wasn't performing very well. So the money which is invested by Franklin Templeton in various debt funds of these companies has not come back. And obviously what happens, people came to know, people are not fools to just keep silent. No, the people who have invested money, they have been carefully watching and they came to know that there is a problem and money which is invested in bonds and debentures is not actually performing very well. Generally, this, uh, this Franklin Templeton, that is asset management company, whenever it invests money in debt funds, credit rating will be given that is at least triple a rating will be given or double a rating or a plus or a plus plus rating will be given based on that rating only they had invested before but unfortunately the economy situation was that the companies went into losses so this is all unexpected they never expected that these companies would go in losses right okay one side the money stopped coming from these companies all right second important thing is there was a panic created among the people that they will lose their money which was invested by this franklin templeton various companies so what happened they started selling off their funds in the market thereby they wanted to get their money back so then when there's a heavy selling what happens the value of units started falling on the other hand, to control these people who are withdrawing and uh, Franklin Templeton wanted to give better returns, so Franklin Templeton has started selling these bonds which it has bought from these companies in the market. So Franklin and Templeton, when they started selling funds or bonds, debentures, etc., which they bought from these companies where it invested, but people must have money to buy these bonds, no? So there is a liquidity problem. So we call it as insufficient liquidity in the market has caused Franklin Templeton uh, ultimately or eventually is not in a position to sell these bonds in the market. One side there is a heavy withdrawal, on the other side bonds were not sold, debentures were not sold at a good rate. So the returns started falling. When the returns started falling, there is a heavy rush, hence returns started decreasing. So Franklin Templeton has seriously thought it's better to close off these debt funds where they have invested because uh, there's no there are no returns at all and people are panicked and uh, money started being withdrawn by them so uh, company thought okay it's better to liquidate all right obviously when the funds are closed you can't even invest you can't even withdraw the money from the fund that is why people will say before investing in mutual funds mutual funds are subject to market risks free please read the offer document carefully you must have heard this uh, story right so that is the story so because of this franklin templeton uh, there is a cyclical effect actually i mean uh, companies were in losses companies were not in a position to pay money on the bonds debentures where franklin invested and uh, people started withdrawing money and uh, while this is happening franklin templeton started selling of the bonds when it started selling of the bonds the people were not purchasing them because there is no liquidity on account of covid 19 and people nowadays, you know, do you think people will invest in this uh, juncture? I mean, people are not interested in investing uh, at this point of time, right? That is one. So already it was suffering and again more uh, kind of more amount of pressure started from this uh, liquidity problem in the market. So RBI obviously has to pump liquid into the hands of people, small scale investors, etc, etc. Make the bonds, debentures more attractive credit policy more cheap so that people might think of investing money in the bonds if they could invest then these kind of funds can be saved all right that's the story uh, now if you briefly look at this um, why is it in the news first of all read slowly okay why is it in the news first of all you you could uh, see this it's recently made a decision to wind up six six uh, yield oriented managed credit fund so the money which was invested by franklin was not in equity funds mostly was in credit funds that means it has bought bonds debentures debt funds of various companies everybody clear okay the definition is given here so the last point it, is, it gives a smaller individual investors access to prep so mutual fund will provide an opportunity for small individual investors there's a professional manager it's like you see uh, when you want to go to the village you can drive the car on your own you decide the route 
you decide the timing you decide at what speed you want to go you decide how you want to drive etc etc that is like you are investing money directly on your behalf in stock exchange whereas when you hire a driver giving a freedom to that fellow uh, deciding where to go how to go how to drive etc when to stop when to take a halt etc etc if you give a professional driver the option to take a decision in mutual fund language we can call that fellow as a professional manager who will actually manage and minimize the risk of you not meeting with an accident that's like that okay now winding up so what does winding up of the scheme obviously it means uh, the all the assets that were invested by uh, this franklin templeton uh, is close to third point if you could say six schemes together it's on 28000 crores they have invested and companies where they invested already started suffering losses the money wasn't coming back and at the same time the investors who have invested in these funds there was a panic created they started withdrawing and selling and Franklin also started selling in the market but it could not sell the bonds or debentures of such companies in the market because companies were already down and rating was degraded so that was one thing so almost it says 25% of total assets under the management of Franklin Templeton were in credit uh, funds right why is this decision now understand slowly if you don't close it now what happens is the value for investor will further decrease so there is an ongoing liquid crisis because of covid 19 and this pandemic will continue so what happens basically returns will be less when the returns are going to be less holding these funds for a longer period of time is not advisable okay so that is this paragraph you just go through now what is the reason for this condition this these six points are very important you see there credit risk funds are debt funds that play on the principle of high risk high reward that means most of the credit funds where this asset management company invested will be high risk and high reward reward is also more but that was when the times are good when everything was going on well these worked very well but unfortunately because of covid 19 and because of no liquidity in the market and there are very chances that there will be a default by the companies it's very difficult to cope up with the balance sheet of these companies so therefore it's better to close them off all right that is one thing you just go through now what are the implications with the market situation very tough for now investors may not get an immediate exit the fund house may find it very difficult to get buyer as i told you franklin itself is not in a position to find buyers of the bonds so investors may have to wait for some time if at all the fund house pushes hard because why investors do not have money because of covid 19 uh if at all fund house pushes hard to get new buyers for those assets it will go at a substantial haircut in the sense it has to cut the rates and start selling at a very very low rates that will in turn affect the investors who have invested in franklin so obviously this is going to be a big loss for the investors who have invested in mutual fund understood so in essence investors will have to pay heavy price for the incompetence of the fund house so fund house that means the asset management company is not in a position to get uh, returns is not in a position to sell them so obviously the investors who have given money to invest uh, who have given money to fund managers will be affected very badly what caution investors should take now Oh, this is so i would advise investors these six very important things so the fund house has said that all funds it manages equity debt hybrid are unaffected by the decision okay so the winding up of six schemes will have a limited impact on so, so only 25% of franklin and templeton funds are credit related debt related so they are affected does not mean 75% of other investments will be affected you don't have to worry that company is gone you only have to worry only you only have to worry that those funds have been actually affected as the economy is facing a serious challenge as of now investors should look at quality of the company so when you invest in mutual fund please do understand and find out where this mutual fund and what type of companies this mutual fund is actually investing that is very important so you have to find out the rating of the companies and you have to switch if in case it's possible that the companies are not actually performing very well or expected or likely to disperform or likely to have a dis- dismal performance in future it's better to switch them off all right next thing is what is the role fund manager and it's a so fund manager here is franklin templeton in our example right 
it is one of the ninth largest investors are now questioning why only this one why only this one why not others why franklin templeton only has reacted the debt funds are affected don't you think that other mutual funds have already invested in debt funds so the credit risk funds invest up to 65 percent in the bonds that means uh, uh, i mean to say these these kind of funds which were mobilized by mutual fund will invest up to 65 percent in bonds rated aa that means they are actually well rated so the risk is going to be very less market experts say that the fund managers can lower their risk by following higher days so what is the situation now if you think that the investment which is invested by mutual funds in debt funds are going to be at a heavy risk and losses because of the defaults of companies where they have invested and they would not be in a position to pay uh, money in return to bonds and debentures that they have issued to mutual funds so it's better to diversify instead of relying more on debt funds it's better to diversify your portfolio and maybe you have to move on towards uh, equity or spread and keep investing less at this point of time on uh, debt funds that is what is this. the last point if you could see significant diversification if it takes place on the liability side there will be a less impact so diversification in the sense instead of putting a majority of investment in credit funds or debt funds or on such companies which are very much volatile and they're not in the position to repay the money and they're actually seriously facing problems at this point of time it's better to put eggs in different different baskets so that you can minimize the risk all right what should be the support so at this point simple i said the problem started because of less liquidity right so reserve bank of india through in it, through its monetary policy has to pump money make sure that the liquidity is available with the people with the intermediaries so that those people when they think of investing money into stock market they might want to invest money in bonds and uh, debt instruments so that some amount of relaxation or minimization of this crisis can be achieved right so in the first paragraph if you could see it's like uh, see here uh, it's like uh, see now a mutual fund is an investment vehicle made up of a pool of money is collected the pooled money is used to buy other securities by professional managers that is called fund house okay so the total uh, yeah second paragraph so winding up of schemes essentially means that mutual fund will first liquidate means close it is closing which means the existing investors can't even withdraw the money and you can't even invest money into those funds in fact franklin templeton is trying to actually help uh, investors in terms of not creating any kind of excitement that there will be more profits it's a well reputed company so the company had to take a decision to save the investors from losing more money right now if they get money they will they will close money and they'll try to return money and if they get money at least something is better than nothing but if if company waits for a longer period of time and uh, those companies in which this mutual fund has invested if they go into bankrupt then the investors will be zero so it's a good thing that the company has announced immediately liquidation of those funds so that at present whatever value that is there will be given back to the investors so investors would be protected in this regard so reserve bank of india is keenly watching i'm expecting uh, some solution for this if in case investors are deeply affected it might announce about the other company mutual funds also to protect the investors there which so today it is franklin templeton which is one of the reputed uh, mutual fund uh, management company and uh, it might affect other companies as well so reserve bank of india would come up with a definite policy in this regard that's all for today have a nice day